Hi, it's Zena, Woodhog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This is a What's in My Bag video featuring the Vera Bradley Large On The Go in Boxwood. This is an older pattern, but the style is still available, and I've kind of decked it out for fall colors, if you will, with a little kind of fall vibe to me. Um, it doesn't matter what season you use the bags, I use whatever, whenever. That's just how I was feeling when I pulled this out. Um, so before we get to the inside, let's start with the outside. This is a large to extra large handbag. I do not have it full, but it is kind of heavy if I have both planners in there, which right now I do. Um, just because we're in December and I've got a lot of things already planning for next year, so kind of carrying both at the moment because my one doesn't roll over. Um, we'll talk about planners when we get to them and more to come on that for next year's planning. But on the outside, I have attached a chapstick holder. This is Stephanie Dawn. It's actually the mosaic pattern, but I thought it goes really well with the foxwood, with the colors and the, the style. Um, it's simple little chapstick holder with a clip. I also have, <laughs> it's silly to have two, but I'll explain. Um, just a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. So I have the cute little gingerbread holding the candy cane, which I initially picked. I just happened to be shopping the other day at the BX with a friend and I grabbed another one, just sort of like another holiday hand sanitizer. There's none in it right now, but this cute little snowman with the dangly charms, I, I really just thought it was super cute. Also matches the bag very, very nicely. So now that we're past Thanksgiving and moving into Christmas, um, although this would suffice, I'm gonna switch it over to the snowman. Also, <laughs> speaking of which, there's not that much left in here, you can see. Um, but <laughs> I just realized it's the snowman hand sanitizer, sparkling icicles. I think it was like last year's, but whatever. You use them as you use them, you know? And it was in the holiday thing, so it was put away. Anyway, so <laughs> that's kind of funny. The snowman's going to get the snowman. Meh. At least until it's gone. And that'll be lovely. Okay, so there's a snowman. But check this out. This little snowman, it lights up. <laughs> I don't need a light, but that is fun. Anyway, so you can turn it off or it turns itself off. But it's super cute. And I've just got them both hanging on the same end. Also on that end, I have my cell phone. So these side pockets on this bag, very, very functional. I've got my... 13 Pro Max phone with a case on there and then it you can get your hand down in there So you can put keys or other things in there as well. I just have my phone quick access grab it out You can put it on either end because those pockets are on both sides um, The strap is robustly attached here. It goes to about right there So it's attached for quite a little bit It's not all the way to the bottom, but it, it's pretty pretty rigid attachment there. So I think that's pretty safe as far as pulling on the fabric or ripping off. It's fairly sturdy. It also has these metal things on the end. So you can use those to clip things onto. I, again, I have them one on either side of that strap and there's room for more. I just don't have anything. All right, strap drop. It has a very generous strap. I don't have it all the way out, but I do have it pretty low. So that when I wear this, it's almost exclusively crossbody. And right now it's even a little long for me. I like it low on my hip though, as long as I can reach the bottom of what's in the bag. And I just sort of throw it around like that. Um, but because this is such a large bag and I prefer not to carry a big bulky bag around, I typically have been carrying this only when I need to, like I need the planners. Um, for something inside, like I'm going to a doctor's appointment, I know I'm going to have to make a follow-up appointment, things like that. But if I don't need them, then what I've got, for all you bag-in-a-bag -bag people, I do have it set up for that. Um, again, we're not to the inside yet, but just getting ahead of myself. So big zipper pocket on the front. It looks metallic, but it is a very nice nylon zipper, very smooth, really great zipper really great adaptation when we complained about all the metal zippers vera came around so that was smart it's like the zippers on the performance twill that sort of faux metallic look inside here i have my erin condren planner for 2023 
and it's in the eggplant or aubergine, whatever, it's purple. Um, and I think it happens to go very nicely with my foxwood. I have all the tabs on here. Um, obviously we're in December, so I've got it all decorated. Um, busy month, yeah. So that is in here. You know what, I'm gonna leave that out anyways because I got some stuff to do. On the back, there is a big slip pocket all the way across. There, it, well, almost all the way across. The, there's a seam closing right there, but it's a big open pocket that you can just easily get in and out of. And in there, I have decided to use one of my Vera Bradley undated planners for next year. I'm not super keen on the spiral bound just because they tend to get crushed or make, whatever. They've been working for me, so as long as I'm careful with them. Um, this one is factory style, Anchors Away, I think it was called. Um, it has this elastic closure on it, little strap, and it has fun design. So construction wise, you know, it's nautical. I have just two cruises currently planned for 2024, but I had several and this one I had more than one. So anyways, here's some of the patterns. This one was an older one. The front tabs, let's see, you've got holidays and three year calendar for your ends in 2023, by the way. Dates to celebrate, addresses, just blank address slots. Important info and notes, there's a few notes pages. And then it goes right into the monthlies. Now they're undated, so you can make them whatever months you want. You can make it be your wraparound calendar or whatever. I just did January to December of 24. Um, and it does come with little stickers that have the month. So I just put those stickers on the tabs. And there you go. And then I put this big paper clip marker to go straight to the first month. I am going to put stickers in here and decorate these, but for now, it's just the basics. And each month has several things. So here, let's go through it. You have the month view, and then you have the week view for each of the weeks. And keep going, keep going. Then it goes into a pattern page and right into the next month. So it goes just like that all throughout. So the patterns, here's another pattern page. Let's see, next pattern page. They, there's not 12 pattern pages, there are repeats, but you'll see the pretty patterns. Oh, and these, um, Month stickers don't stick on that terribly great. Some of these patterns were not my favorite outlet patterns, but there's the repeat start again. So it goes back through. So there's six patterns twice through. And there you have it. But there you can see the monthly tabs. You just kind of put your thumb on it and flip it and it goes to the page. Um, so it's a nice little notebook. It does come with, I said, the one sticker page. I've taken it out already and put it in my planner things. More to come on decorating and other planner options. I do like Erin Contran. I really like the quality of the paper. This is a much thinner paper, so you got to be careful what writing utensils because I'll go right through. And my little paper, well, my big paper clip already cut a hole in the paper because I was a little bit careless trying to slide it out. So you just have to be a little bit more careful with the paper here but so be it. All right, so now I can put other things in that pocket if I desire. Let's get to the inside. So what I have in here is a coordinating pattern. It's not matchy-matchy, so it's a mixy-matchy, I call it. Um, definitely not a pattern palooza. There's basically only two patterns. So there are several items that are just lined up vertically. I can reach in and grab whatever, even blindly because they're all different shapes. Um, with one exception. So let's dive in. Let's start with the items that are not the same or that are the same shape. I've got two glasses holders. These are the magnetic ones. These are a uh, factory outlet style. This is in bandana swirl. Two different pattern placements. Um, but these colors and patterns, so black background with colorful things, I just thought that even though the colors aren't a good match necessarily, that it just kind of coordinated okay with all that. So that was my call on that. Let's see what else we got. We've got romantic paisley glasses. These are my Vera sunglasses. 
that I chose. They just were what was in the case. I don't care. And this, they, they do also have the little wipe slash bag that they came with in there. And that fits easily with the sunglasses. So I just leave them in there. So that's that one. And then this one, I think is my prescription sunglasses. Yeah, so again, um, if you're watching my last video, I got some new glasses. These are last year's glasses I elected for the sunglass ones. So they're prescription, but there's so little prescription to them that it's really not much difference. But I leave these usually for driving. Um, but yeah, they're purple, because purple. I do like purple. It's kind of a white bottom edge there. But pretty simple, and there you have it. So I know it's silly to carry two pairs in there. I <laughs> just, that's what I have. Okay, next item. I have my all-in-one uh, crossbody wristlet. This is, again, bandana swirl. And I have my truck key fob attached to it. Um, and this is my grab-and-go. So what I do is when I'm, when I'm using it as a wallet or I'm throwing it in my pickleball bag, because that's what I do now, um, for a while I was using zip IDs, which I still do, <laughs> but right now, this is my grab and go. I just grab the whole wallet and throw the whole thing in my pickleball bag um, and it keeps it safe. Um, how this is configured, I do have this front pocket and that's where the crossbody strap is. So when I'm doing it as a wristlet, I just leave that in the front pocket. But if I wanna put my phone in that pocket, then I put the strap on or I remove it and do it that way. Um, mostly I just leave it like that. And then how this is configured, if you're not familiar, well, there's a coupon in there. So you have a clear ID window and a bunch of card slots, and then you have two vertical slots behind each side, and then you have the cash drawer right here, like that. So I'll leave that coupon in there. Oh, and how many card slots you get? You get one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So five on one side, four on the other. The front of the four is your clear ID. The back is like an accordion style wallet part. In this one, you have two big slips. You have the main section, and then you have the coin thing in the middle. Um, I use this one for receipts. I have some cards of various things in here. And I try not to keep a lot of coins because it bulks it out and takes up space, but it also makes it heavy pretty fast. But this is not heavy, just a perfect grab and go style item, bag in a bag, it's perfect. Um, next I have a clamshell. This is from the, I don't remember, I think this one was a four piece cosmetic because in there, there also was a roll piece. So there's a third piece that I didn't use and then the clear exterior. And these are in Foxwood obviously, so they are matchy matchy in this case. And two out of the three pieces, I didn't need the other one. So in here, in the long roll, I have miscellaneous items. I have my EarPod Pro. I've got some earplugs. I have a little pocket knife. I have a glass nail file. I have some chapstick. I need it. Just just some EOS. I don't remember the scent, flavor, whatever. I've got a couple different meds. I've got a phone thing. Now this is kind of cool. You put it in between your case and the phone and leave this little loop sticking out so you can put it onto a lanyard or go hands-free. I'm not using it at the moment, obviously. I have a couple hair ties from Vera Bradley. Nail clippers. Um, mascara. A flashlight. Some brush picks and a little keychain thing. And this is a little plasticized thing. So I just some random things thrown in there. <laughs> All important. And there you have it. Oh, you gotta kind of align it, otherwise it doesn't close well. There you go, got that. In here, this little clamshell, I really love these. These are like the perfect size because look at how it opens up and you can really get into it and it's gusseted on both sides. So it, it's tiny but mighty kind of bag. It's not tiny, but. In here I have, looks like gum and mints. So I have some Mentos thin thing. I've got some gum that's unopened. I've got some gum that is opened. I've got some breath strips from Listerine. I always have those. I've got, now this is a was a mint thing, but it's no longer mints. I have like Tylenol, Advil, and Aleve, I think is what's in there. 
So a mix of, again, more meds. I've been having a lot of headaches lately. And then I have some wet wipes, just some antimicrobial wipes. And yeah, so this again is plastic lined as well, but it's the perfect size just for a nice little cosmetic or whatever. And then I have my rest of my keys. This is my RV keys, actually. I say rest of my keys, there is more keys. They are somewhere in here. I have nothing in the zipper pocket. Oh my gosh, I have more glasses in here. Oh, these are my new glasses. So if you didn't watch that other video, these are regular glasses again. I'm right on the edge of needing glasses for distance only, like maybe 2040, it's not bad. Um, so that's my new glasses. I usually only wear them when my eyes are tired, like um, long day of driving or dusk, whatever. Anyway, so uh, we'll come back to where I put those, but so I have three pairs of glasses in there. One glasses, two sunglasses. I have a fan because menopause. And anyways, I'm always hot and I do live in Arizona. So even in the winter, occasionally you need a fan. And then I have this is an Erin Condren pencil pouch. It actually matches and I was carrying it on my planner. So it goes on the planner cover and you can just keep the, a few pens in there. And I do, I have a whole bunch of pens in here. Pen, pencil, pen, pen, pen. I have a lot of more pens than I need in there. I probably should clear that out. But anyways, right now they're all in my purse. And what else is in here? I have a card case in Foxwood. So in this, I obviously I have cards. It's kind of like a zip ID, but it has cards, card, card case. So you have a clear one on the back. It does have the push slot. That's just a business card of mine. And in order to get into it, it actually is secure. So you put that in there and then the strap actually comes around it. So even though it's clear ID and has a slip here, it's secure by this strap. So things can't just fall out. I like that about it, especially if I was carrying it on a lanyard or something. I wanna know that my card's not just gonna fall out and lose my license or my ID or whatever. Um, so you got that slot. You have a slot down the middle, which I actually don't have anything in the middle slot. And then on this side, there are three, three card slots and I have them stacked. So the back one is my lug compliment cards. I have several. Mm. So I, I just picked some assorted ones and I do give them out to people. It's sort of random, but just a happy thought for someone, just kind of brighten their day or just help them be motivated, whatever. And the second slot is business cards of other people's that I'm carrying around to, to help spread their business information. And the front one is actually more of the same. So none of them are my business card, except there are several in this slot. Let's see. Yeah, they're kind of packed in there. That's where mine are in the front. So there's a bunch of them. Anyway, that little strap goes all the way around, secures them all, and it's perfect for this bag. Okay, so that's the end. There's my other keys. Normally I have these clipped together, and I just have some carabiners on them. So I've got my regular keys, like all my house keys, and gate keys, things like that. Then I have my Vera Bradley denim shopping tag bag charm or a loyalty tag bag charm. So you got your little card things all in one place. Thankfully, you don't have to pull this out that much because usually you can put your phone number in, but I always have it. And then the RV keys, so. Yep, uh, we'll leave that out for a second. Okay, so now that's it. That's all that's in the bag. In the bag, you have two big slips on, sorry, wrong side, on this side. So you have one here and one here, two big slips. And then on the ends of the bag, you have two more slips. So it's a little bit of an elastic cargo pocket there on each end of the bag. So it gives you four slip pockets basically. And then on the back side, you have that zipper privacy pocket. So. How I had everything in, I had one planner on each of the pockets front and back, my phone in the side. Um, I had my keys in one end pocket and I did it opposite my phone and stuff. And I had these glasses, oh, that's magnet, on the opposite end piece. 
because this is probably my least used item and I even forgot they were in there. Um, we got all of these just standing up down the middle. So we got the big stuff and I just put key side up so I can grab that out and these. And there you can kind of see they, oops, just, they have plenty of room. They stand up right down the middle. Um, then I had these in the slip. So this was in one side together and this was in the other slip all by itself. And it fits perfectly, easily zips, way more room in here, although I wouldn't want more weight in here. And that is what's in my bag. Hope you had fun, I hope you enjoyed that. If there's some specific bag or accessory or pattern that you're looking for for my next bag, could be Vera, Log, Kipling, whatever, just if you know what I have or you're looking for something specific, put a comment down below and I'll see if I can find that for you. I do owe lots more videos, I'm trying to catch up and hopefully you'll get more soon. Bye for now. Happy holidays.